after a month it broke and I realized why and I wanted to straighten it out so that other people wouldn't have the same problem. It's not something I'm willing to do and jeopardize the design of this because I have a lifetime warranty on it. KN4 NEH, this is N4 NGMA, 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 Hi, I'm Jim in for BFR from Ham Radio Prep at Orlando Hamcation. We're checking out some of the stuff here and we are at the VHQ Hex booth to talk about hex beams. And we're here with David. David, tell us about the hex beam. Okay, so the hex beam that I came up with is um, it's, it's just a, a redesign of an existing, the existing hex beam model. And um, it's built to withstand just about anything. And the reason I came up with it was more of a necessity than a want. You know, I bought a hex beam from another company and then after a month it broke and I realized why and I wanted to straighten it out so that other people wouldn't have the same problem. So I, I basically designed it and it's overkill to the to the max. I mean, this this thing is so heavy duty on the, on the structure center post will withstand the hurricane force wind. And I guarantee, I have a lifetime guarantee on my antennas and um, basically for the machined components. Everything's been beefed up from the wires to the clamps to the, the reinforcement of the fiberglass. It's, it's designed to withstand just about anything. Okay. What a lot of these guys that are making them don't understand is uh, the foundation of anything is, is the strength of any structure, whether it be, you know, anything from a building to anything, right? So this is the backbone, and without a good backbone, you don't have any strength beyond there, right? So, you know, all these other guys, they don't see this, so you get a little bit of pressure on it, it bends that, and the whole geometry gets thrown off, then it stresses all the fiberglass and the fiberglass snaps. The hex beam design is probably one of the greatest designs ever. I mean, compared to Yagi's, I mean, I'm not saying that it is the best, but it, it's right up there with them. And a lot of my customers have both Yagi's of all sorts and hexes, and they always do comparisons. But um, this is six through 20 meters, it's directional, and it has high gain, very compact. It's it's a great design. The hex beam design in general is a great design. What I like about a, a, a directional antenna design is that you get gain. You get extra signal in the direction you right. wanna you want to shoot without running any more power in your radio. Right. Uh, so you're you're adding distance by just using the magic yeah. of, of how how radio waves work. Yeah. When I first came out with this, uh, these guys did a six-page review article, and it was in CQ Magazine, and this is available on my website, vhqhex.com, as a PDF, but it, it, it starts, it explains everything from the inception and design of the hex beam, the original hex beam by Traffy, and it, it shows all the design modifications up to the modern M over U design hex beam, but then it also goes into a review of my antenna, has all the specs, all the gain figures, and this is the highest gain hex beam on the market. Excellent. Now you were mentioning that the hex beam itself, the directional part, is uh, 6 to 20 meters, Right. but you've added this piece below it. What's that for? Right. There are hex beam or a hex beam or what I don't know. People have experimented with the 40 meter wire and it's really not a viable solution for a hex beam. It's very big, very flimsy, hard to tune. It's not a really good solution. So I get calls all the time, people asking about 40 meter add-on kits and it's not something I'm willing to do and jeopardize the design of this because I have a lifetime warranty on. I, I, I just can't mess with the design so that it makes it fail. So I came up and designed this. It's a 40 meter dipole. It's a loaded coil. It's got high Q coils specifically designed to not interfere with the hex. Because 15 is the third harmonic of 40 and there's a lot of issues there. So this is my solution for 40 meters. It has a dual core. 
Balan rated for 5K. Matching coil. Everything is rugged. It's all built with structural aluminum. It's the strongest piece out there as far as dipoles go. It's $1,049 right now, so it's the highest price one out there, but it's okay. very, you know, it's got a lifetime guarantee. And, so and, and you get what you pay for in a lot of things. Exactly. So if people want to find out more information, can they find you online? Yeah, vhqhex.com. Any uh, any last words for somebody considering a hex beam? Uh, for the compact design, you're getting the best bang for your buck in an antenna with a hex beam because you get the six bands. It's got high gain. You can put it at a low. I get a lot of people running these at 30 to 35 feet. 65 feet's optimum, but they work great at lower. Um, the lower you put them, the higher the takeoff angle. I get guys running them at 10 feet, but something you can get going with that will stand the elements. Lifetime guarantee. It's a great starting antenna for somebody new getting into the into the hobby getting into the hobby and really wanting a directional hf right yeah all right terrific yeah. thank you very much all right thank have you have a great day yeah you too